Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today's video is going to be a review on the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I already know there's probably tons of reviews out on this and tons of tutorials, but I'm doing my own. Well, I'm not doing a tutorial, I'm doing a review and swatch video. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just this plastic packaging, and it opens up like this. Keep in mind, I do not have the brush anymore. I do not know where it went. And these are the colors. So this is like a rosy... Um, Are you serious? Three of the shadows just fell out. Hold on one second. Okay, so you guys probably just heard that and saw that. So I've actually had problems with this. Um, the packaging is not very good. Um, as you can see, the shadows, these three shadows right here just fell out on me. So I'm going to have to go in and glue them back in their little spots after this video. So you're from DK if you're watching this. Um, maybe I got a defective one, but there's no problems with it. It's still beautiful. Just keep in mind that this does happen. I don't know if it's happened to anybody else, but it has happened to me. So, um, so like I was saying, this is like a rose gold kind of palette. I don't want to tip it too much, but you guys can kind of see there's rosy tones like up here and then it gets darker as it goes down. So the shades in this are one is strange, second one is dust, third one is burnout, fourth one is limit. Fifth one is um, Buzz, uh, the next one is Track, the next one is Nooner, Liar, Factory, Mugshot, Dark Side, and Black Heart. So those are the colors, names. Um, the shades in here are very, very nice. I love how pigmented and smooth they are and how they glide over the eye nicely. So all that's nice. Um, there's a little bit of fallout, but not much, so that's not like a deal breaker. Um, you can get some really, really pretty looks with this. I would say that this palette is probably my favorite to use for like Valentine's Day because it's so girly and there's a lot of pinks in there. The packaging is not my favorite though. I don't really like how it feels. Um, they could have done better. Like I said, my shadows fell out just now. They didn't break luckily, but still. I'm probably going to go back in and then glue them back in their packaging. I feel like this is a cute packaging. Um, I don't really like how it closes that much. Like, see, you have to, like, press it in. I don't know, it's kind of annoying. And then when I open it, the colors just fly right out, which isn't, it's not okay. So, I'm going to do some swatches. So, the first one I'm going to swatch right here is Mugshot. And this is just, like, a white, um, matte color. So, let me see if I can turn this down so you guys can see the shades better. Yeah, you guys can see it better when the light is down. So this is Strange. Uh, these are very smooth. So here's Strange on the back of my hand right here. Uh, the next one is Dust. This is a sparkly pink, as you can see. got to be careful because I don't want these to fall out. So here's Dust right here. You can see it's a very light sparkly pink. Um, you can build these up. Uh, these also work well with a wet, wet brush. Like I said, they're a little bit dusty, but that's okay. The next one is Burnout. This is a purpley pink right here, Burnout. If you guys want me to do a tutorial with this, let me know in the comments. So here's Burnout right there, the next to the light pink one. The next one is Limit, and this is a, like, a mauve matte pink purple. Right here, this one is Limit, and I'll put Limit right here. So here's Limit. Limit's right there. You guys can see that? That was a weird place. I shouldn't have put that there. So I'm going to swipe those off. Where's my little... Okay gonna use my makeup remover uh, sponge oh it's not a sponge it's a makeup eraser this is a makeup eraser this works really well from removing makeup obviously okay so the next one is gonna be I'm gonna put this right here the next one is gonna be the next one is buzz so this is like a pinky matte purple with a little bit of shimmer, nothing too crazy. Ooh, this is a pretty color. 
So this is like a metallic-y baby pink almost. It's like a mauve baby pink maybe. Next one after that is track. And this is like their true rose gold color, I think. So right here is track. This one's super buttery and creamy. So here's track right here. Maybe if I turn it up, it'll be better. I love this new ring light. So here's track. Next one is Nooner, and this is another, like, I think this is like a darker purple. A darker gray purple, it looks like to me. And this one's really, really smooth. So here's Nooner right next to track. The next one is Liar, and this looks like a, like a shimmery um, grayish purple. And I'll put that right next to Nooner. So here is, what's the color name on that? Liar. There's Liar right there next to um, Nooner. So again, I'm going to wipe those off and then I will swatch the rest. So literally my only complaint with this palette is the packaging. I do not not like how those fell out on me. That has done that a couple of times. I'm going to have to just glue them in. There's no problem. I hope it doesn't ruin the shadows. But, um, you know, that's a $54 palette. And it, we should have, a, like, A-plus quality if we're going to be spending our hard-earned money on that. I mean, um... $54 for one eyeshadow palette is a lot. When you can get $54 of drugstore palettes for that much for like 10 You could probably get like 5 or 6 maybe because drugstore palettes are expensive. So the next one is Factory and this one's like a brownish color I think. This is a brown I think. Yeah this one's like a brown. So this is called Factory. It's like a brownish color. The next one is called Mugshot, right here, that's Mugshot. This is a brown, like, sparkly color. The next one is Dark Side, so these are getting in the really dark ones. I don't even know what to s describe that color as. That's like a, almost like a black right there. They're all like the same. The last three are really similar. The next one is Black Heart. This looks like it has purple glitter in it. If you look closely, it looks like it has purple glitter. So I will do that. Yeah, this is a black one with purple glitter. If you look closely, Black Heart looks like it has like black with purple glitter. So that's that. So the only thing I hate about this is the packaging, honestly. I want to uh, try and fix those shades. Because I love them a lot and this is getting dried out so I can't wipe these off. Okay, so that's like my real review on this. Uh, there's nothing really bad to say. Just the packaging is really disappointing. I feel like they could do a better job. Um, like I said, I don't know. The packaging is not my favorite. This palette is beautiful and I do recommend it. just wish the packaging was better. Um, I will link this in the description box below. Again, this retails for $54. It's splurge, so I don't recommend getting it unless you're, like, really good with makeup because, you know, if you're a beginner, you don't need to go out and spend $54 on a makeup palette unless you guys really want to do that. That's fine. But, um, I don't recommend it, uh, to someone that doesn't really know what they're doing with eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like again. That's what the back looks like. If you can, you can actually hear them in here flapping around. Um, so that kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And please always check my description box. There's a lot of stuff down there. And then please give this video a like. And please subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.